All right, so I'm back on the Sister Wives train. I just got done watching the episode in season two when Cody takes the family back to his his ranch. So this is a ranch that's been in Cody's family for five generations. And because, because of the show at the time, uh, the Brown family was getting a lot of scrutiny, you know, from the media, from the government, and they're, they're getting ready to move to Las Vegas. So he goes, let's go get our feet in the earth and go to Wyoming, which was a good opportunity to see two things. One, to see, I think, the benefits of the family. So, the, you know, you have all these kids going out there. They're able to paint Cody's mom's house. They're able to get exposure to the, you know, to the, to the ranch, to the cattle, you know, and it seemed fun and it seemed wholesome. And I have no real criticism of it. Like if I watch season one in particular, there are so many moments where you see the kids acting sort of outside of what I would think would be good like for normal development. So f for example, in one of the first episodes, Logan is making, he makes his entire family because Janelle's gotta go off to work. He's gotta make the enti his entire, or Janelle's kids at least, uh, breakfast. I think it's unreasonable, right? Like she's thinking this is good for his development because he's doing a chore, but to me it feels overly burdensome. There's also other moments where Logan sort of put in charge of serving the meals or taking care of the younger kids. And I feel like it's sort of an over the top burden that he faces. But on the ranch, I feel like the work is, I mean, Logan certainly still takes a lead, the lead, but the work is distributed. The kids seem like they're happy. Everybody's doing something. It feels wholesome and healthy to me. So that's the one thing I should give them credit there. But what was most interesting about the episode is you got to see how Cody's mindset was developed as it relates to his wives. So, you know, they're explaining kind of the dynamics there and there's a weird dynamic, right? So Cody was pursuing Janelle, Janelle who, was, who wasn't part of his faith. He's pursuing Janelle and Janelle, you know, is essentially ostracized from her family by everybody except for her mom. Her mom goes and meets Cody's family to sort of learn more about this, falls in love with Cody's dad, ends up marrying Cody's dad before Cody marries Janelle. And so they're trying to explain that dynamic. Well, what they said is that Cody's mom, P Cody's biological mother, was very jealous of Janelle's biological mother because Cody's mom was responsible essentially for taking care of the kids. And she was threatened by this new woman moving in who she thought was smart, beautiful, and clearly was the apple of her husband's eye. But she put up with it. She, she stuck it through. She worked on the relationship and she sort of just grinded it out until she built a reasonably healthy relationship with Janelle's mom. After the dust settles, it just adds assets to the family. We call it kind of like a wheel. Each wife is a spoke in the wheel. Well, when another wife comes in, then every one of those spokes has to move. To be balanced. And, and, and the more spokes in the wheel, the stronger the wheel is. What's key here is that Janelle's mom's purpose really was to take care of the man. And that was it. And Cody's mom's purpose was take care of the kids. And that was it. So you can see how fast forward to Christine feeling like, hey, I'm the basement wife. All I'm doing is taking care of the kids and you're off over here hooking up with Robin, and I'm upset about it, and Cody being like, why are you upset? Every wife has a different role. You're being selfish, right? You can see why Cody would think that Christine wanting to have true love, to have a romantic relationship, is unreasonable. It's how he grew up. His mom, who he loves very much, did the exact same thing, but put up with it. So I, that's really the, the crux of what's important here. The other thing I thought was interesting was at the end of the episode, they go off and the kids are all climbing on rocks. And you see, you see the three original wives sort of being like, whatever kids, go and play. And then you see Robin there, like very anxious about her children climbing on the rocks. And at one point, Christine says, I'm trying really hard not to laugh at you. Which by the way, not the most, not the most empathetic thing that, that Christine could say. But I wanted to jump in and say, I do think that Christine is right. So, so let me say it this way. The way kids grow and develop, if you think about a kid, like especially under the age of, of 12, 
they are they are they are bumping into the world around them trying to figure out how strong they are how fast they are how high they can jump how far how far they can fall without getting hurt what what sharp feels like when do they break a bone what, what at what point does their body not work anymore right you they're they're trying to test their environment in the states we have been really diligent, I think, about kind of bubble wrapping our playgrounds, bubble wrapping our kids because we don't want them to get hurt. So for example, if you have a playground with a really soft floor and a kid falls off of the monkey bars and he falls onto the really soft floor, he may not think that that's too high. He may not recognize that that's a big fall because he didn't get hurt. But if you remove that flooring and just left the hard ground, the kid will fall once and go, oh my gosh, that's too high, and then adjust his behavior. So in Europe, there are all kinds of, and a little bit in, there's a couple of them, if you look it up, there's some in New York even, adventure playgrounds, where they intentionally leave reasonably dangerous objects around. You know, hard toys, in, 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 um, in England, they'll leave saws out, sharp toys, te- you know, teeter-totters that are broken, things that kids can actually get hurt on. And the idea is that when the kids bump into these objects, they go, oh, I've learned something about myself. It hurts when I do that, or that's dangerous or whatever. It's, it's how a kid grows. So if you go snap cut back to the Sister Wives episode and you see Robin being terrified about the risk and wanting to eliminate the risk, get her kids off of the rocks, really she's preventing them from learning about their own skill set, learning about the environment, learning how to measure risk. So I thought that was interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, subscribe, all those things.